Hello everybody, um, this time I'm making you a video about Mission Editor in DCS World. Recently, in last uh, year or so, Eagle Dynamics have made a lot of improvements to uh, Mission Editing. There used to be a lot of things you needed to do with scripts, which may or may not get broken with uh, any update. Um, now, a lot of these uh, features are available with Mission Editor and uh, one of the most uh, requested things, at least for me, was being able to use um, some of those unused airstrips on Caucasus map, at least, as well as, uh, perhaps more interestingly, the ability to create road bases. Now, thanks to a new static object named Invisible Farp, um, this is perfectly possible and in this video we will take a look at how to make that. What you need to do is to put the invisible far where you want your uh, new airbase to be and uh, within about 100 or 120 meters uh, from invisible far maximum you need to put a few more uh, units so that uh, it will function uh, as an airbase normal airbase as we knew, uh, know it in DCS meaning um, you can either use uh, from uh, static units uh, and structures a few things started with FARP like FARP tent, um, FARP ammo depot, uh, FARP fuel depot etc. These will uh, enable us to well refuel, rearm, request for repairs and uh, also talk to the tower uh, from our newly created airbase. Uh, alternatively, you can use a uh, vehicle equivalent uh, of these. They need to be uh, again in close proximity to the invisible FARP. And um, these would be some ground power um, providing trucks and um, fuel trucks and normal trucks uh, will uh, double as uh, ammo depots in this case. So let's see how we do it. As you have seen I have put my invisible farp uh, on a nice flat uh, straight piece of route and I'm placing additional uh, necessary structures right now and this is uh, fuel That looks nice enough, and let's put a far tent. I think this one, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what this one does, but it's needed for something. Let's put it that way. Uh, command bunker, I think this one is for uh, contacting uh, the tower. This is the uh, ammo depot. This enables us to rearm the aircraft uh, we will be spawning around here. And uh, for good measure, let's put some trucks as well so that it will look nice. Now let's fast forward a bit and uh, put our first aircraft, Harrier. Uh, we need to choose either uh, start from the ground or start from ground hot. If we choose hot, uh, the aircraft uh, will have its engine and systems up and running. Uh, if not, uh, we will have to start uh, aircraft from scratch. I line it up uh, with the road and let's put some helicopters as well. If you have a big mission with lots of things, uh, it's probably a good idea to uh, name them like that so you can find them uh, in the available client list. Or rather, available aircraft list. 
and now let's uh, test the mission. Loading, 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 and here's our Harrier. And we can indeed rearm around here. And the road was not nearly as straight as I was hoping it would be, but uh, works for demonstration purposes, I guess. Let's jump uh, to one of the Hueys. And yeah, we can rearm nicely as well. And now comes the part about the caveats. Right now only helicopters and uh, the Harrier can be spa spawned anywhere on the ground uh, to be able to use these kind of bases. There are other aircraft which would uh, benefit immensely, like uh, the Wigan you are seeing right now, and uh, F5, MiG-21, uh, those kinds of aircraft, uh, or Hornet, to be honest. Uh, many countries uh, use these aircraft, at least trained them on road bases. What I'm doing right now with Wigan uh, is I put one start, uh, put one on the map uh, in start in the air mode nearby where I want to land, and I land there first as a workaround. There's exactly one, uh, actually one thing you can do: uh, a small Lua code edit. Uh, on aircraft definitions uh, that added would enable any aircraft you make it for uh, to be put on anywhere on the map with uh, start on ground uh, parameter using the mission editor I am a little too lazy to make those changes uh, and I'm pretty sure in the future we will see more aircraft uh, being uh, possible to put on the map uh, anywhere uh, now that we have this invisible far feature um, aside from that yeah it's it's pretty nice actually now uh, we can make a lot nicer missions uh, with some of these aircraft who were famous for uh, working from basically anywhere or at least unprepared runways uh, etc so yeah hope i have been uh, helpful and uh, hope to see you guys next time